Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Thiago. I'm a first year med student at the University of Ottawa. And I decided that since it is just almost interview season, I thought I'd give you guys some tips of how to prepare for them. Um, I've been in your shoes. Maybe you have an email, you got an email and it said, congratulations, you've been offered an interview at such school. And for the first 15 seconds, you're so happy. And then after that, you're like, uh oh, I actually have to prepare now. And if you haven't been preparing, then you feel caught off guard and you start panicking. Don't worry, I'm here for you. I have at least 10 tips for you that will help you prepare for your med school interview. And these are the 10 tips that I um, implemented in my preparation and I only had one interview and I got accepted. The first tip of the video is understand your interview type. Each school is different. In Canada, in the States, there's a whole bunch of interviewing methods or formats that you can walk right into. So make sure you know what, what you're gonna walk into so you can prepare for it. So the first one is open file interview. That is when they have complete access to your application, they're looking at it and they're interviewing at the same time. The second one is a closed file or partial interview. They just have some access to your interview, uh, to your application, not the entire thing. The third one is a panel interview. That's what I had in Ottawa. Um, I had, so it's, it, it can vary. You can have one person, two people, three people. Uh, but generally, I think it's three people sitting across the table from you and each of them get to ask you different types of questions. Um, then you have group interviews where you're interviewing in groups. Uh, different applicants are with you. And the last one is multiple mini interview, also a pretty common one, a popular one for different types of scenarios. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on the panel interview because that is the method or the format that I experienced in Ottawa. If you, by the end of this video, like everything that I'm telling you and you want me to make one for a multiple mini interview, then comment down below. I'll do my research and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Tip number two is research the school. If you know you got an invite to the University of Ottawa, you want to know exactly what Ottawa offers, what type of the cur what type of curriculum they have, what's surrounding area like, what's the city like. Do your research because it could be that in the questions or during the interview, they're going to ask you questions um, about the city. Why do you choose Ottawa? All that. So make sure that you know exactly why you want to go. Uh, best thing to do is to go on their website, take a take a peek, take a glance at what they they have on the website, uh, Facebook pages, Instagram. If you know people that go to the school, ask them how it's like, the lifestyle, what do they like about the curriculum, what do they not like, what would they change. So just to get a general sense or feel of the lifestyle, the school life there. I will include two links in the description that you can click to go and access uh, any school, at least within Ontario, um, that gives you more information about the schools. I'm sure there's other things. If you tap in Google, you'll be able to find information about any medical school out there. So check out the description for that. Tip number three is to look at the CanMed roles. So the Royal College of Physicians in Canada came up with certain roles, some traits that they want physicians to have. And you can find these at the CanMed roles. Again, I'm gonna include this in the link, in the description, I'm gonna include the link. Uh, some of the roles are like collaborator, expert, communicator, clinician, all that. Tip number four is to prepare two questions that you can ask the interviewers at the end of the interview. Some of the questions that I asked, let's see if I can find it. All right, so I just pulled up a couple of questions that I prepared last year for my interview. Um, I'll read it out. And this is just one question for, for you to have an idea, just so you know what kind of questions you can ask. You wanna make sure that the interviewer is thinking about it 
It's not like a yes, no question, but something that makes the interviewer reflect and really understand that you as an interviewee really do care about the school and this amazing opportunity that you're having. So make sure it's a well thought out question um, because if you do a very generalized one, then you won't, it won't stand out in their mind. You wanna make sure it's a good one. So this is one that I have written here. Obviously, I would love to be accepted into this medical school, but when you're thinking down the line whether you accept me or accept another student, how will you know a year from now that you made the right choice? So that one makes them think a little bit. Another one that I have here is if your daughter or son wanted to go into medical school, why would you encourage them to go to Ottawa? Why or why not? Because then it gets the interviewer to share their opinions about the school. And remember, these people that are going to be interviewing you, they're not all professors or doctors or uh, faculty. They could have someone from the community sitting in there. And so they could have a unique perspective about the school that will shed some light for you so that you understand. Um, okay, so that is what I recommend. Prepare two questions that you can ask the interviewers at the end of the interview. Tip number five is beware of common mistakes. What are these common mistakes? Let me tell you, okay? Number one, the first mistake that you do not wanna make is sounding too rehearsed. If you sound too rehearsed, you sound like a robot, you sound like you memorize the script, and you don't wanna do that. You want to answer with passion, with authenticity. People can see right through your responses. And so make sure that when you practice, that you have an answer for certain key questions, but that you are not sounding rehearsed, and that it flows like a conversation. Um, and that the best way to not sound rehearsed is to practice. Uh, doing that in a conversational tone. We'll get to that in a later point. The second common mistake is having inappropriate appearance. To get into medical school, not even to get in, but as a med medicine, as a profession, um, people have a professional appearance. And so it's very important that you match that level of appearance. So make sure to wear nice clothing. Most people, if not, so for the guys, every guy that I saw had a suit and tie. You don't need a tie, but at least a suit uh, with a blazer, nice pants, just to look nice, look professional, because that is going to make a really good first impression, and the first impression is very important. Okay, for the girls, wear a nice dress. Uh, I think some of the girls wore also a blazer over top. Anything that looks professional is good. Uh, you can research kind of what what is recommended, what most people wear, but anything that you would feel comfortable in presenting yourself to somebody um, who you're being interviewed by. Okay, so the third one is do not make the mistake of being negative or making negative comments. You want to always be positive, always uh, turn a negative in your life, in your story, whatever it is, make it positive because these interviewers, these people who are going to uh, allow you to go into medicine, to study health, to be able to work and uh, work with the population, they want a physician that is positive. And in general, you want to be surrounded by people that are positive. It doesn't mean you will have always positive stories. That's okay. But if you say something negative, try to spin it in a positive tone, something that you've learned from um, your past, you maybe you made a mistake, uh, you're kind of sad, down about it, Make a, put a spin to it and say, but this is what I learned, uh, and finish off on a positive note. The fourth common mistake you don't wanna make is not smiling. Listen, are you listening? Imagine you're interviewing somebody for a job or a volunteer role, and somebody across from you that you're interviewing sits and looks at you like this. Hi, 
my name is Tiago. Or they sit across from you and they're smiling like this. Hey, my name is Tiago. Isn't that way better? So a smile instantly lines up the room. It puts smiles on everybody else's faces and you are golden, okay? Tip number six is to reflect. You wanna reflect on your why of medicine. Why do you wanna go into medicine? Was it something that happened in your childhood? Something happened in your family? Or was it high school? There was something, a instant in time that caused you to decide, I think I wanna become a doctor. I wanna to go to medicine because of A, B, or C. Okay, so that's really important. I'm gonna read out some questions that are important for you guys to reflect. These are the ones that I use for myself and it helped me tremendously in preparing for the interviews. Okay, um, make sure to write these down or I'll put them in the comments down below, that way you have a copy of them. So the first one is, why do you want to go to medical school? Question number one. Question number two, who is part of your journey and how have they helped you? Will they continue to help you? So in my life, for example, my parents are part of my journey to deciding to become a physician. Question number three would be, what extracurriculars impacted your decision to pursue medicine? So what did you do during high school, during undergrad, that helped you prepare for medicine or maybe kindled a fire for that. Uh, for me, for example, I worked at Christian Horizons where we worked with people that experienced life with um, disabilities. And that was extremely foundational and eye-opening for me. And so that really kindled a desire for me to pursue medicine. Also, I volunteered in Brazil at a hospital and orthopedic unit. So I got to see operations and be part of them. So that was really eye-opening for me. What helped you? Uh, what was part of your journey that directed you towards medicine? What hobbies are unique to you and have shaped you? Everybody's unique. Everybody has something different about them. Um, is there something that you excel at that you love? Do you play music? Do you play sports? Do you like to work out? Do you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Do you um, perform magic tricks? Do you have a YouTube channel? Anything, what are hobbies that you are involved in that have shaped you as a person, that have given you skills that can be applicable when interacting with patients in the future? So write that down a piece of paper, put your name uh, from there, branch off to hobbies and then list them off. Do a mind map, make a mind map of all these things so that you understand exactly what um, you have been involved with in the past so that you have ammunition when you go to these interviews. The next, the last question that I have written down here is what sets you apart from other applicants? Um, you're not trying to compete with them, right? Because the best mindset to have in life in general is collaboration, not competition. That's a quote that Dr. Ryan Gray says a lot. And I agree with that. When you're going to go into the healthcare field, you're gonna be working in teams with groups of people. So you don't want to think competitively, you want to think collaboratively. In doing so, you want to think, what sets you apart? Because in many of these interviews, there's gonna be over 500 people being interviewed. And so in some ways you're gonna be similar, in other ways you're gonna be different. What sets you apart? Write that down, think about it. It's okay if you don't think of something, but I encourage you to dig deep and try to set yourself apart from other applicants in, in any aspect of your life there. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is only the first part of a two-part series on the top 10 tips for medical school interviews. Um, this is part of a longer video. It's actually half an hour, 
but I cut into two so it's a little bit easier to watch. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell uh, so you can receive notifications of whenever I upload, join the family, join the tribe, welcome. If you like this video, again, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you've been through an interview process. What are your tips? I'm sure I haven't hit all of them, so what would you recommend for those who are going to have their interview soon? If you have any questions, ask them down below. I will answer all of them. And that's it, I'll see you in the next video.